Hi everyone! Today's video is about how we celebrated Easter and I also have three works in progress to show you. So stay tuned. Two of them are crochet alongs. Alrighty. So how did we celebrate Easter? Well, first of all, I want to know how you celebrated Easter. I know this year was really different than any other year before that I've lived through. Um, all right, so what did we do? Well, normally we go to Hubby's sister's and have uh, Easter dinner with her and her grandchildren. And uh, yeah, everybody needs a haircut. <laughs> So this year, um, she called us on Saturday and asked us if we wanted to do a drive-by Easter dinner. So we're like, yeah. Oh, so Sunday she called us and said everything was ready. So we drove to her place. We saw her come out the side door of her house with two plates of food. She put them on the um, two lawn chairs that were out there. And then she backed up towards the door. We came towards the food and she was looking at us and laughing. And I thought, okay, she's laughing because this is a weird way of doing anything. <laughs> um, so I started laughing because laughter is contagious and I love to laugh. <laughs> so, oh dear. So we picked up the food and then as we're holding it um, and talking to her and, and actually I gave her like a virtual hug and she did the same with me and uh, she took a picture and uh, so then we thanked her and everything and we're walking towards the truck and then all of a sudden there was a gust of wind and I'm like oh I went to grab my head because I know why she was laughing and I totally forgot. I had my ears on. So, take a look at this picture. This is the picture that she took. All right, so <laughs> that's me and hubby. So, of course, we know the reason for, for Easter, right? The resurrection of Jesus. So, of course, that's what it's all about. I have to say the food was excellent. Um, my sister-in-law, she is an amazing cook. What was on that plate? Would you like to know? There was turkey, there was ham, there were Swedish meatballs. Oh, she calls it her secret family recipe. So good, so good. Oh, I love them. I could eat a whole bowl of just those. <laughs> and then there was mashed potatoes and gravy, there was carrots. Uh, what else? There was uh, cabbage rolls. She makes them herself. They're so good. I can only have like half of one though because the cabbage gives me the toots. <laughs> oh, gee. And uh, what else was on that plate? Uh, she had a couple of little bags of um, chocolate Easter eggs. Mm, so sweet. She's very, very, very thoughtful. So that was really good. Unfortunately, I didn't have anything that I could take to her because, you know, you know how it is, how, you, uh, you know, you really shouldn't go shopping if you don't absolutely have to because of this Corona thing. All right. So that was our Easter. We took it home and we enjoyed it. And um, I made sure we thanked her again on Facebook. And okay, so my work's in progress. First of all, I will show you this. <laughs> this is a body, this is a pointy head hat, and then the rim of the hat. And it's sewed up because there's gonna be a nose and a beard and there's gonna be arms and legs. This is a whip by, or a pattern by Crochet Rosetti. It's a crochet along and I will put the link to that video in the description box. Her name is Tracy and she's crazy over gnomes. So that's what this is going to be. This is part one. All right. 
So the next one that I'm working on is by Sabrina Maliudus. I don't know if I pronounced that right. When I was a kid, I used to have a strong French accent. My mom was actually French, but um, we lived near a small French community and we went to a French school and like, anyway, I had a strong French accent when I was a kid. So I, I'd be able to say your last name, Sabrina, properly if I was still a kid, but I kind of lost, lost the accent. All right. <laughs> So this is a crochet along as well by the lovely Sabrina and uh, it's a bag. So uh, yeah, it, it's a really cool crochet along. Um, it's different than any bag I've made before and also it's a stash buster, a yarn buster. So you can, what I did was I pulled out a bunch of my yarn that I was actually going to donate but hadn't gotten it there yet <laughs> which was kind of good for me yay so then you put it all in a bag and then um you just you know pull out the next one you're going to use for the next row or two rows and whatever you pull out that's the one you're going to use and there's a reason for that you have to watch the video which I'll put the link in the description box but uh, so far this is what I have. This is actually part two, and I still have more to do on it. But you might be wondering, what the heck? Oh, wait, I gotta fix one here. You might think, what the heck? What the heck are those things there? Yeah, what the heck are those? Hmm. So anyway, these are the colors I pulled out blindly. All right, so. Uh, yeah, it, it's really cool. I really love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right. So the next work in progress I have is, um, and many of you have been interested in my latest, um, my latest design. It's a, a lady's top one piece and, uh, very weird, but I was, I was on YouTube. I'm always on YouTube <laughs> and I saw this video of a top that looked like mine and then I started looking at it and I'm like okay it's it's similar to mine similar um but there's like a stitch difference and I'm not sure what else is different but I'm like oh my gosh no but like nobody stole anything from anybody all right but anyway this design is mine it came out of my head <laughs> anyway so here it is this is my this is the yarn I'm using it's summer nights by Lion Brand. Uh, let's see. Um, I doubled it because it's so thin. It's 875 yards, so divide that in half, 400 and something, 440 roughly. Um, and that'll be enough, right? That'll be enough, I think, to finish because uh, yeah, well, anyway, I'll put the link to that tutorial video in the description box if you haven't already seen it on my channel. And the color here, this time I'm using Castaway. And um, this this, uh, blah, this is it. I got it rolled up in a ball because I doubled it. And um, it's got sparklies and different, different um, shades of blue. So this is it. That's where your neck, your head goes in. <laughs> so yeah, so that's what I'm working on only because I want to use up this yarn um, because it's just driving me crazy because I didn't know what to do with it. And I tried working with it just the one strand and it's a way, way too thin. <sighs> and I should have known. It's 82 acrylic 18 polyester. And uh, crochet hook, it says to use is 3.5. And because I doubled it up, I'm using a five. And I wanted it to be like airy, you know. So, yeah, so that's it for my, my three whips. I do have a chick that I was working on that I showed you. I have not gotten back to it and now Easter's over. <laughs> 
<laughs> so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to finish it. It was just kind of something I was starting on a whim. And uh, I wasn't following a pattern or anything for that. All right, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, tell me if you're making my top. Actually, um, I'm supposed to be challenging someone. And uh, so many people are making my top. And someone had said, oh, I'll make your top. But I don't know. Um, like, I know she has a couple of um, tutorials on her channel. I'll put her, her uh, link in the description box as well because I want to. Uh, Nona's... No, Nona's Stitching Lounge. Her name is Rosie. But I'm waiting back to hear from her. Um, I made a comment, and I'm just waiting for you to reply to it. And, um, like, so many people are making it my top. But someone else is said they'll do the challenge with me. They've already made my top. And I'll put her link in the description box. She is Karina Ann's Crochet. Lovely, lovely, lovely lady. Now, you all have to go check her out. I mean, she does crochet. She makes beautiful things. Uh, so you have to check her out. She's under 100 subscribers. Like, come on, people. <laughs> please go check her out. If you think she's a match to you, then, you know, please subscribe to her. Um, she's very, very kind. She has a wonderful voice to listen to. And anyway, she is doing, she's making a design right now. And um, I told her, I'll make that. You know, once she gets her tutorial up, I'm going to make it. And then I'm going to make a video of um, of us, uh, like I guess I'm kind of accepting her challenge. <laughs> so then I'll put a video up of her finished product of my top and then my finished product of the item that she's making, that she's designing. All right, so then it's going to go on and on and on and on. And, you know, people, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, the person who started this um, tutorial trade crochet collaboration was the lovely Teresa from Craving Crochet. And um, she had challenged me. And if you haven't been watching my channel, the videos are on there. I put them in a playlist. And she also... Um, she also challenged Lisa from Lisa's Crochet to make one of uh, Teresa's um, designs. And so Lisa did that. And then and then it's going on from Lisa to someone else. I don't want to mention anything right now because I don't think there's like a video. Uh, anyway, um, I don't think there's a video of the person she challenged yet. Anyway. I'm trying to catch up on my videos, people. I really am. <laughs> All right, so I think that's it. If you have any questions, if I confuse the heck out of you today, please <laughs> ask questions. Sometimes I write better than I speak. So ask me questions in the comments. Tell me how your Easter was and how different it was from every other year. And it, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you made the best of it. Um, I hope you felt the joy of the Lord. It was resurrection day and the tomb is empty. Oh, and, um, I just thank God for that. I thank God for his son. I thank God for his Holy Spirit, who is our comforter. I mean, oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to God and to you guys. I love you all. Thank you for joining me today and listening to me and and uh, just being with me. All right. So I'm looking forward to hearing from all of you. Any nice comments you want to make? Nice ones. <laughs> They're always nice. They're always nice. Um, yeah. So, okay, I'm going to upload this. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.